If you're looking for more friendships, emotional depth, and your dark past creeping up behind you, here are a few other games like Omari to stoke the flames of your existential crisis. What if your inner demons were your outer demons? In Sea of Solitude, when humans become too lonely, they become monsters. Join Kay on her journey of loneliness as she explores a metaphorical world where the changes in the surrounding landscape reflect her inner state of mind. As she solves puzzles and confronts who she is, she will face new challenges and move forward into new areas. And all of these areas are populated with fantastical creatures and they reveal their own stories of loneliness and the struggles they experience in their own lives. This game was recommended to me by a good friend who enjoys a deep emotional adventure as well as exploration and this game really resonated with me on a level deeper than I imagined. The start of the game may seem a bit confusing and maybe even a wee bit slow but as soon as you begin to delve deeper and deeper into the story, the story just might tap into the dark recesses of you. Meet Stallyface in this dark story driven adventure you will play as Sal, a boy with a prosthetic face and a tragic past interact with his world and his nightmares. There are two gameplay styles in this adventure. For the casual player, you unravel the truth and the mystery that hides amidst the shadows. However, there are a lot of hidden surprises that are more difficult to find and even Easter eggs along the way, if you're up for the challenge. And did I mention you can talk to ghosts? Yes, in this 1990s cartoon style, but way, way darker. You will use your gear board to communicate with the dead as you get to know some bizarre characters in your living life. Sally Face is divided into five episodes, which you can buy one at a time or together as a complete collection. And it is a pretty impressive size for a game created in full by a solo developer. Lydia is a game I hadn't played in ages and I'd almost forgotten about it until I came up with the idea for this video, but it is definitely one to look into if you enjoy deep emotional themes during your gameplay. Lydia is a narrative driven game that tells the story of the titular character along with her teddy, who is her friend, guide, and source of comfort. It delves deep into the imagination of the young child as she deals with the monsters, both literal and figurative, that are an ever looming presence in her life. It's short, but it's powerful. By processing the dark themes of depression, anxiety, as well as the feelings of rejection and loss as she grows up with parents suffering from alcoholism, this game is inspired by real life experiences of those who have dealt with these in their own childhood. The game plays mostly in shades of gray, but the color is used in such an impactful and emotional manner, it gets deep. And many of the reviews from players that I have read says this one hits home in a very real way. Now Little Misfortune may look like all rainbow sunshine and glitter, and indeed there is a lot of glitter, but there is an emotional depth underneath the surface of what initially appears to be a kid friendly adventure. Well until you learn from her new friend Mr. Voice that today will not be very fortunate for her at all. Follow this precocious 8 year old in this interactive story as she ventures into the woods to seek eternal happiness. Your choices will have consequences as she experiences the dark recesses of the world in a childlike, upbeat manner. It's a mix of storytelling, light puzzle solving, visiting cemeteries, and petting puppies. But be warned, this game can make you a bit uncomfortable at times as there are some dark themes and hearing such topics come out of the mouth of a young person can make this game a bit off-putting. But you know what's not off-putting? Leaving a big like on this video if it's been helpful to you so far. Night in the Woods is the story of Mae Borowski who returns home from college to her small dying town of Possum Springs and she must reconnect with the friends and family who she left behind. This game is all about relationships and mysterious happenings shaking up the townsfolk and leaving May and her friends on a search for the truth of what's really happening in the shadows of their town. This game is very story focused and while there are elements of platforming and some quick time events, the main story mechanics are the conversations that you have not only with your core group of friends and family but also with the other people you run across. And these aren't just idle chit chats. Well, not for the most part anyway. But the more you talk and experience the lives and hardships of the characters through their eyes, the more opportunities in the game will open up for you. This is a game that covers so many topics and lifestyles and hardships and traumas in life that you're bound to find at least one character that has a story that truly resonates with you on a personal level. There you have it, 5 games to shake you to your emotional core. If you enjoy games where emotions speak volumes but the characters don't, check this video out here. I've been Journey and I'm out.